And we in the NDC are appalled by the very labored, albeit unsuccessful attempt by the committee to shield the perpetrators of that heinous crime from liability and punishment. That finding flies in the face of the facts and cannot be accepted by the Ghanaian people who expected nothing short of the truth from any impartial inquiry, wet a sort into the sad events that unfolded in the draft. We wish to make the point forcefully, ladies and gentlemen, that no credible or verified evidence of any feud in Kake's family was adduced by any of the witnesses who appeared before the committee to testify because there is none. One therefore wonders how the committee came to this contrived conclusion. Our checks as a party reveal that Kaka was at peace with his brother Idi and lived in harmony with him. This was duly corroborated by his wife, Sahada Hudu, mother, and family relatives of Kaka, as well as the people who lived with him or with them in one community. The idea that Kaka was killed as a result of a family feud is therefore the invention of the Kumsin Committee and as such cannot be allowed to stand. We wish to submit forthfully that all persons who perjured themselves before the committee should be interdicted and prosecuted in accordance with law. In conclusion, friends from the media, we are pretty sure that at this juncture, you who are objective observers would agree with our assertion that anything but justice has been said in this drama matter as far as the findings of the Justice George Kingsley Kumsin led committee are concerned. This grand agenda to once again cover up of cicades and try to normalize an issue of such magnitude and importance only speaks to what has been a consistent trend since President Tekufuado assumes the reins of power. Indeed, the sad events of Ayawaso West Wagon brutalities are still fresh in our minds.